preparing for final exam, here we have 10 questions for you. We are going to review the strategies and then apply them so that the questions can be answered in less than a minute, proving trigonometric identities made simple. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. To prepare for exams here, we have some trigonometric identities. I've taken very basic identities for a good foundation. We'll discuss some simple strategies for proving the basic identities. And these strategies will help you find solutions very fast in any given question later on. So as you can see, here are 10 questions for you. We'll discuss strategies and answer them in almost minimum time. Okay, so let's look into these strategies first. So let's review some very basic concepts which help us to prove identities. One of them is the quotient identity. Quotient identity is basically tan theta is equal to quotient of sine theta and cos theta. Similarly, we could also write cotangent theta as ratio of cos theta over sine theta. Of course, the denominator cannot be zero. So this is one of the important identities. The other one relates to the secondary and the primary trigonometric ratios called reciprocal identities. So we know cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta. Secant theta is a reciprocal of cos. And cotangent theta, let me write theta here, is 1 over tan theta. Clear? Perfect. And then we look into Pythagorean identities. The first one, most popular is sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. We have 1 plus tan square theta equals to secant square theta and 1 plus cotangent square theta equals to cosecant square theta. So these are very basic identities which you should remember. Also, when you look at these, you should think about like this that sine square theta should be equal to what? 1 minus cos square theta, correct? And difference of squares can be written as 1 plus cos theta times 1 minus cos theta. So many times these simplifications also help us to prove the identities very easily. You get the idea. And then we have some general formula, which is what is a plus b whole square? So, a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now, here, when we talk about sine and cosine, sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So, that helps you to solve many questions and prove identities, getting the idea, right? And what is a plus b whole cube equals to? Well, that is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3 ab square plus b cube. So sometimes cubic formulas will be required. You may use those identities. So the combination of algebraic and trigonometric identities always help. Perfect. So now let's begin solving these questions. One of our strategy will be to write tan and cotangent in terms of sine and cosine, right? And all the secondary ratios as primary ratios, reciprocal of them. Let's begin with the very first one, which is sine theta equals to cos theta by times tan theta. Now, we could actually start with the right-hand side. So, right-hand side is more complicated, which is cos theta times tan theta. Using the quotient identity, I could write this as equal to cos theta times 
sine theta over cos theta for tan, right? That is the quotient identity. And clearly, cos and cos cancels. So, what are you left with? Simply sine theta. You see that which is equal to left hand side. So, proving an identity basically means start from one side and show that both the sides are equal, right? That's it, right? So, most of these questions will be solved in three steps. The next is tan theta plus cot theta equals to secant theta times cosecant theta. So, on the right hand side, we have the product and left hand side has the sum. So, let us begin from any side in this particular case. This time, let us begin with the left hand side, which is tan theta plus cot theta. Rewrite them as sine and cosine ratios, right? So, this is sine theta over cos theta plus cos theta over sine theta. Perfect. Now, we can take a common denominator, which of course is cos theta sine theta. When you cross multiply, you get sine square theta plus cos square theta. As you know, sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 and therefore, we get 1 over cos theta times sine theta. Do you see the result now, right? So, basically, 1 over cos theta times 1 over sine theta and that gives you secant theta times cosecant theta. So, we have shown that left hand side is right hand side. So, we have once again proven the identity. Makes sense, right? So, likewise, let us take more questions now. Of course, the right hand side is more complicated. So, we should begin with the right hand side, which is cos square theta over 1 minus sine theta. Now, if you have this kind of a question, I prefer to adopt the method of using Pythagorean identity and changing cos square theta as 1 minus sine square theta, right? So, we can write the numerator as 1 minus sine square theta using the Pythagorean identity, which we discussed right in the beginning, right? And this can be factored as 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta over 1 minus sine theta. As you can see, 1 minus sine theta cancels and therefore, you are left with 1 plus sine theta, which is equal to the left hand side. Perfect. Simple, right? So, the strategies really work, right? Now, we have another question, 1 plus 1 over tan theta equals to 1 minus tan square theta. So, begin with the right hand side, which is more complicated. So, 1 minus tan square theta over, we are talking about tan theta minus tan square theta. Factoring is a good skill, right? So, let's factor difference of squares on the top means 1 plus tan theta times 1 minus tan theta in the numerator and in the denominator, we can factor out tan theta, right? We get 1 minus tan theta. So, 1 minus tan theta cancels and what are we left with? We are left with 1 plus tan theta divided by tan theta, which is 1 over tan theta plus tan theta over tan theta, right, which is right hand side, right, which is 1 over tan theta plus 1 or you can say right hand side. Makes sense, correct? Now, let us take the next question, which is 1 minus cos theta over sin theta equals to sin theta over 1 plus cos theta. Let us begin from the left hand side, which is 1 minus cos theta over sin theta. In such questions, you need to rationalize and you also observe that we have 1 plus cos theta in the denominator. How am I going to get it? Well, let us multiply and divide by 1 plus cos theta. What do you get? 1 minus cos theta times 1 plus cos theta is 1 square minus cos square theta. And the denominator will be sin theta times 1 plus cos theta. 
Now, what is 1 minus cos square theta? Pythagorean identity rearranged gives you sine square theta, right? Over sine theta times 1 plus cos theta. One of the sine thetas cancel. And so, you get your expression, which is sine theta over 1 plus cos theta, which is the right-hand side. And so, we have once again shown left side is equal to right-hand side. Here is the next question, which is 1 plus sine theta over cos theta equals to secant theta plus 1 over cot theta. Well, this is very simple. We can begin with the left-hand side, which is 1 plus sine theta over cos theta. Rearrange, just write it as 1 over cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta. What do you get? Well, 1 over cos theta is secant theta, as you know, right? Plus, that is tan. We need cotangent, which is reciprocal of tan, right? So, you could also write like this, 1 over cos theta over sine theta, correct? which means we have secant theta plus 1 over cot theta. Makes sense, right? Which is the right-hand side. Do you see how simple it is? Let's move on. Take the next question. Cot theta over tan theta equals to 1 minus sine square theta over 1 minus cos square theta. Okay. So, cot theta over tan theta, let's start with left-hand side which is cotangent theta over tangent theta. Correct? So, cot is cos over sine. And tan is sine over cos theta, right? So, that gives you cos square theta over sine square theta. Makes sense, right? Correct? Because that reciprocal, right? But cos square theta can be written as 1 minus sine square theta. And sine square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta, which is the right-hand side. So, once again, very easily, we could show that. So, we have used the same identities, the concepts, which we discussed right in the beginning. You see that all these concepts have been applied effectively to prove these identities. That is how we should do it. Now, if this is helping you, then surely you should contact me on the email to learn more. Now, let's get back to the last two questions. 2 sin theta cos theta plus 1 equals to sin theta cos theta. It was sin theta plus cos theta whole square, right? So, there's a correction here. So, the right-hand side basically is sin theta plus cos theta whole square, okay? Right, so let's begin with the right hand side, which is, there's a typing error here, so we just corrected that whole square, right? So, if you expand, what do you get? You get sine square theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta plus cos square theta. And that gives you sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Let's rearrange. And then we have plus 2 sin theta cos theta. So, we have 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta. Clear? Over is the same as the left hand side. Perfect. Simple application of Pythagorean theorem along with the identity, algebraic identity. Now, this question is also similar. So, we have 1 minus 2 sin square theta equals to cos to the power of 4 theta minus sin to the power of 4 theta. Let's begin with the right hand side now, which is cos to the power of 4 theta minus sin to the power of 4 theta. Difference of squares, factoring technique, right? Cos square theta plus sin square theta. Let me write down here. theta plus sine square theta times cos square theta minus sine square theta. Make sense? Well, you know cos square theta plus sine square theta is just 1 and we are left with cos square theta minus sine square theta. 
Now we want it to be equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. That means we do not want cos square theta. So, which is just cos square theta minus sin square theta. However, what you need is a term 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So, cos square theta can be written as 1 minus sin square theta, right? We already have 1 uh, sin square theta there with a negative sign and this adds up to 2 sin square theta with a negative sign and that is the left hand side. You see how easily we could prove all these identities. So, 10 of them done in almost no time, right? Basically, we need to review these basic concepts and they help us to solve all these questions very easily as you saw, right? I hope you understand and appreciate these methods. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.